we're going to talk about Joe Biden and his potential legacy. So if you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very, very, very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, this is in response to a viewer question, Kaneto33. Thank you, Kaneto. You're pretty sharp. So there are four people in the series, Joe Biden, someone else tomorrow, someone else another day, and someone else another day. So stay tuned and see what you think. But let's, let's look into his history. It's pretty cool. You know, he's the most unlikely person, many people think, to have become the president. But a lot of folks also say he's just what this uh, nation needed right now. So let's see. Do you think there'll be a, a legacy? Let's see what the cards tell us about that. So just a few details about Joseph Biden. Okay, here we go very quickly. Uh, Joseph R Robinette Biden Jr. is the 46th president of the United States. He's a Democrat. Uh, he was born uh, November 20th, 1942, so he's a Scorpio, like me. And uh, he's born in the St. Mary's Hospital in uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania. He's the oldest child in a Catholic family, and he has a sister and two uh, brothers. Biden uh, has a stutter, uh, which has improved since his early 20s. He reduced it by reciting poetry in front of a mirror. And um, Biden's father had been uh, had been wealthy, but he suffered financial setbacks, and for several years the family lived with B Biden's mother's parents. Uh, by 1953, his dad had become a successful used car salesman and uh, maintaining a middle-class uh, lifestyle for the family. And in 1961, Joey Jr. Uh, played baseball and was a standout halfback and wide receiver on the high school football team. Though a though a poor student, he was class president in his junior and senior years, um, and he graduated. Now, in 1965, Joe briefly paid, played freshman football at the University of Delaware in Newark and earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in, with a double major in history and political science and a minor in English. Uh, now, in 1966, he married his first wife. Okay, some people don't know that he had another wife. He was married his first wife, uh, Neelia Hunter. And they had three children, Joseph R. Biden, uh, Bo III, and then uh, Robert Hunter Biden, and then Naomi uh, Christina Amy Biden. In 1968, Joe earned a Juris Doctor from Syracuse University uh, College of Law, and he was admitted in 1969 to the Delaware Bar. In 1968, he was given a conditional medical deferment from the military due to asthma. In 1968 also, he earned a law degree from Syracuse University and clerked at a Wilmington law firm uh, and thought of himself as a Republican, actually. Uh, but registered as an independent because of his distaste for the Republican president candidate, and that was Richard Nixon. And then in 1969, so good instincts, in 1969 he practiced law as a public defender and then privately at a firm headed by a locally active uh, Democrat. In uh, 1969 then he registered as a Democrat. And in 1970 he was elected to the Newcastle uh, County Council. In 1972 he became the sixth youngest senator in U.S. history after he was elected to the Delaware uh, Senate. And then from 73 to 2009, okay, he represented Delaware in the United States Senate. And then, but then in 1972, prior to 1973, of course, a few years after the election, uh, Biden's wife, Nelia, wow, wow, and one year old daughter, Naomi, were killed in an automobile accident while Christmas shopping. Uh, her station wagon was hit by a semi trailer truck as she pulled out from an intersection. Their sons, Bo, age three, and Hunter, age two, survived. Uh, Biden considered resigning. Uh, from uh, politics to care for them, but the Senate Majority Leader at the time, Mike Mansfield, uh, persuaded him uh, not to. Years later, Biden said he had heard that the truck driver allegedly drank alcohol before the collision, and the truck driver's family denied that claim, and the police never substantiated it. Joe later apologized to the family for having uh, believed that. Uh, the accident had filled him with anger and religious doubt, and uh, Joe wrote that he felt God had played a horrible trick on him, and he had trouble uh, focusing on work, of course. 1975, though, he met teacher Jill Tracy Jacobs, we all know Jill, on a Jill, 
on a blind date, and Biden credits her with the renewal of his interest in politics and life. In 1977, uh, they were married, and then in 1981, their daughter, Ashley Biden, was born. Now, 1991 to 2008, Biden uh, co-taught a seminar on constitutional law at Widener uh, University School of Law. And then 1987 and 1995, he chaired the Senate Judicial Committee. Uh, Biden was reelected to the Senate six times and was the fourth most senior senator. And for 12 years, senator. And for 12 years, Biden was the chair or ranking member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. In 2008, we all know, I guess, that he unsuccessfully uh, ran for Democratic, uh, the Democratic presidential candidate, but became uh, Obama's uh, vice president candidate. And then 2009 to 17, he served as the 47th vice president under Barack Obama. In 2020, Biden and Kamala Harris defeated incumbent, you know, DT number 45. And he is the oldest elected president and the first to have a female vice president. So that's who Joe Biden is. Okay, so this deck by Los Carabillo is by renowned uh, uh, child, uh, children's book uh, illustrator uh, Arthur Rackham. So this is called the Arthur Rackham Tarot. And these are amazing. Um, this uh, fellow was uh, born in 1867 and he was an illustrator of such books as uh, the Brothers Grimm uh, Tales, um, Peter, who is it? Peter Pan and Kensington Gardens. And uh, so the cards himself, they come in this typical uh, box, okay, and it's got illustrations from uh, Rackham all around it, which is nice. The uh, illustration booklet is just a typical uh, booklet in, I think, three languages and just with a very brief uh, talk about uh, Rackham here, but with good um, suggestions as to how to divide the cards. But nothing to write home about. <clears throat> the cards themselves, they're just typical. There's nothing special about the back that I can see, and uh, they're easy to handle. And uh, But the thing about these cards is the work. So when you have an artist who has gone into such detail for these images, and these are pulled from his works over the um, ages, I guess, you know, I guess he was active uh, 100 years ago or so. And uh, so fairy tales for children. And so this sort of stuff just really lends itself perfectly to telling stories in the tarot. The one thing that's odd, like, so for instance, here's a nine of pentacles. And you won't see nine pentacles on here. So you really have to know what the divination is and then interpret his drawings, which are just fantastical. Uh, into that uh, divination. So I like to put the cards out like this so that you can get an idea of what the decks look like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or I always have my eyes open for something different. Um, I love that uh, artists uh, come up with these cards and um, they put so much intention into the original uh, works and then that gives us and then when someone wants to choose from their vast uh, repertoire to interpret the tarot that's even more intention laid on top of that so i hope you like them i'm crazy about them so these are arthur rackman's or just the rackman tarot by los carabillo well here we go this is going to be uh and thank you canetto 33 for the question and so we're going to ask how will history uh, 10 years and beyond view president biden's legacy now this let me turn off i have a heater under the desk here let me turn that off um this is going to be the first part of a four-part series. Uh, so there's four folks that Canetto 33 has asked about, and President Biden is the first one. So President Biden's legacy in 10 years and beyond. How will history view uh, President Biden's legacy uh, 10 years and beyond? Interesting, you know. Uh, I don't know if I'm the kind of uh, card reader who can get that kind of information, so we'll find out. 10 years in the future is pretty interesting. Uh, President Biden's legacy 10 years on president biden's legacy 10 years on very interesting question look at that cards don't want to work for me president biden's legacy 10 years on one more time okay this will be a full celtic cross president biden's legacy 10 years on. So one, two, three, four, five, wow, and six. So this is going to be a full Celtic cross. Did I leave a card there? One, two, three, four, five, six. This card wants to be in, in the mix. Okay. So we have seven cards. This will be a full Celtic cross. And here we go. The signifier card for President Biden's legacy 10 years on. The signifier card then is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords, you know, the Three of Swords is typically a broken heart. 
That's very interesting. And this uh, figure in this uh, deck here is certainly distressed. So 10 years on, the legacy of uh, President Biden, the signifier card for that is the Three of Swords, and that's uh, really a distress, um, uh, un uh, unfulfilled, uh, broken heart. Okay. The challenge to that, though, is this Knight of uh, Wands. So wands and, you know, swords are uh, truth and justice and rules and law. And uh, wands are uh, action, uh, planning, uh, movement forward. This knight of wands, you know, when the knight is given this uh, action, they're going to carry it through. That's going to be their job to the best of their ability, uh, uh, you know, to, to make this happen. And so this uh, broken heart as a signifier is challenged by this knight with this plan who is determined to get this thing done. So that sounds pretty uh, accurate. So uh, broken heart is kind of counting why he came into this presidency. It's interesting to think that maybe in 10 years his legacy will be seen that uh, his broken heart was challenged uh, by being the knight of this action, maybe to get something done. The base of that reading then for President Biden's legacy 10 years on is this three of coins. So the three of coins, coins are of value. They can be money, but uh, they're typically for me, the three of coins uh, represents, you know, folks doing some, building something together for public display. And that certainly has been um, what his presidency has been about, to build something for the people to see. Um, very interesting card. So this is a very fruitful tree. It's loaded uh, with uh, these uh, peacocks. Here's what they look like to me. And um, interesting. We've got two figures here. Could this be Kamala and Biden? So the base of this reading uh, for Biden's legacy 10 years on is this three of coins uh, really um, you know, trying to build something for a public display and um, the signifier of the three also, but of swords. The uh, past of this reading for Biden 10 years on, so looking back from 10 years ago uh, in the future, is this uh, five of wands. Ah, five of wands is kind of uh, pointless arguing, uh, pointless uh, 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 conflict, and uh, my Australian uh, readers uh, like to say argy bargy. So yeah, uh, the past of this uh, for Biden 10 years on was all the pointless uh, conflict uh, that uh, brought him to that legacy, I guess, um, to the presidency. And then the sky of this reading is the uh, 15, 16, 17 of, um, of the major arcana. And so this is the uh, hermit. And so is that the hermit or is this the star? You know what? I'm going to take a minute and cheat and look on my cheat sheets. And I need, they're stuck under my desk here. I have a glass on the desk and I need this card to kind of pry this out from under the desk so I can see uh, what this is going to uh, mean. So the 17, and I have to count down, this is my cheat sheet, and I have to count down that major arcana because they're not numbered. So let's just look at it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's the tower, but that's not the tower. That's 10, 15, 16, 17. Let's look again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is the tower card, but I can't believe it. So I'm going to go even further, and I'm going to get the instruction booklet for this just to make sure that I understand what the 17 is. 15, uh, 10, 15, 16, 17, the star. Yeah, in this deck, this uh, 17 uh, is the star. Okay, so we like that. All right. Uh, in the sky, this is the star. So Biden's legacy 10 years on looks like he's going to be seen as uh, or he was shooting for to be a shining star in this time of conflict and broken heart and trying to get his, the job done and make something for public display. I like that a lot. The um, likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross then for Biden's legacy 10 years on is this nine of coin. And the nine of coin is really having uh, coin is value. It's worth. It can be money. And it's usually represented by someone who's just a wash in their very good fortune, their huge value, and really having more uh, than they need to get something accomplished. And so that's represented by this uh, maiden here. She's really very luxuriously dressed. She's living in a, in a, in a uh, palatial looking uh, uh, status with these uh, tapestries hung on the wall. And uh, she has so much uh, wealth that she has the latest version of the day uh, talking uh, parrot that she's telling just to be quiet. Oh my goodness. So... This is someone who, uh, I wonder if this is Trump, okay? 
Interesting. So this person with all the value that they need is just telling, shh, be quiet, you ridiculous <laughs> parent. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so now we'll start the last part of this reading, which will be the end of this Celtic cross. And this is to kind of determine what will Biden's legacy be 10 years on. And the uh, self of that question then is a six uh, of the major arcana. And these are the lovers. So these are deep partnerships. This is a committed partnership. Um, and you know what? I think this is uh, Biden with the United States of America. Um, it could be Biden and, and Kamala Harris, but um, I don't know. Right off the bat, this makes me think of Biden's deep abiding love for the country. And uh, so the lover's card and partnerships, uh, getting things uh, to help get things done. The um, environment that that uh, lover's card is in then is this nine of cups. So what did I have here? I had the nine of coins, the nine of coins, and the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is, again, just, um, like it's usually happy family. Um, it can be called the greedy merchant. And uh, this woman in this Nine of Cups, again, just like this woman, luxuriously dressed. She's got much more fabric in this, in this costume than the common woman of the day would have. And it looks like it'd be very expensive uh, material. And she's trying to make a choice between her beautiful shoes, what to wear. So the environment that this in is just being a wash in really everything that you need uh, to complete your, 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 her task right now is to get finished uh, being dressed. And so everything that you need to complete that task. And that's everything you, you need in the ways of emotion, of compassion, of deep feelings. Okay. So the lovers and having all the deep feelings that they need to get this done. The, um, Hopes and the fears for this uh, Biden's legacy in 10 years is this queen of coins. Okay, so this queen of, of, of pentacles, queen of coins, value, worth, actual money perhaps, is, um, is just, you know, being uh, the person who has every um, ability, everything uh, that they need to make this thing happen, to show their value. And again, this beautiful rack of deck, I just love them. Uh, but they show this uh, queen with her little maidens really lighting the way, and she's almost angelic, almost like a fairy, like an angel, just rushing in uh, with her um, value, her authority. Okay, and then the sky of this reading, the likely outcome, Biden's legacy in 10 years is this four of wands, which for me are small celebrations. In this deck, it's represented by these trees that are, have almost uh, human like uh, figure faces and uh, attributes to them. This um, uh, innocent uh, child uh, confronting this uh, troll. Uh, who apparently is pitched a tent and living uh, outside in this forest and is very comfortable and he's pitched his tent. He's made his home. He's got a, a little stand here with his cooking pot. Um, the trees are barren and this innocent is, uh, uh, you know, sweetly taking him on. Is this Trump? Is that Trump? Four of wands for me or smallest celebrations onto something else. So let's recap all of this again to see if this story makes sense for Biden's legacy 10 years on. It starts out with this three of swords, and that's really a broken heart, really very beautifully represented in this card. Just a, a broken heart, a shock, uh, uh, okay? Uh, then it's challenged uh, by this knight of uh, wands, which the knight has this action that he's going to get it done. You know, this is how he came into this pre pre uh, presidency. His heart was broken for what he see was being done to the country, and he came in as a knight with a uh, plan to uh, uh, rectify this. The base of the reading then was this three of coins, the three of value, you know, to put something together for public display with everything that you need to get that done. This sounds like the story, the actual story right now. In the past of this reading, with this five of wands, was all this useless argy-bargy, all this useless conflict. And, you know, that sounds like all the ridiculousness that's going on between the two uh, political parties right now. Okay, so that is what brought all this, uh, starts this story, tells the story. And in the sky of this with the star, it just shows this fella really in the darkness, but ha he has, a, you know, a guiding light uh, to, to, to propel himself forward. And then the... Um, Likely outcome of the first part of that with this nine of coins is just this this very privileged with all the power that they need, just telling the silly parrot to just be quiet. Shush. Okay, so that sounds pretty accurate if you want to think of that uh, bird in the cage 
uh, in the gilded cage as Trump. And then the self of the question, again, with these lovers, is um, either representing his love for the country or his partnerships with Kamala, but some sort of a deep passion for partnering to get this uh, mission accomplished. And then it's in the environment of this Nine of Cups, just a huge amount of compassion, emotion, um, really being draped in all of that that you need to uh, complete your uh, task. And then the um, hopes and the fears of that with this Queen of Coin is really having all the authority, well, almost all, because it's not a king of coin, it's the queen of coin. So she can't really go quite as far as she could if she were the king, can she? No. So that's the hopes and the fears. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing for Biden's legacy 10 years on, uh, looking back, is this four of wands, smaller celebrations towards something else, and this innocent confronting this very settled in troll in this devastating barren uh, forest. Wow. I think that's a pretty good um, interpretation of what he's uh, facing now and maybe how that this might be looked at from 10 years on. So Canetto33, thank you for that question. This was pretty good. Canetto33, thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed that reading. What did you get out of the message? Does, does it agree with what you think? Listen, I just read the cards, but we got three more coming, so stay, uh, you know, watch this space. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.